Today I have purchased three items that I am going to show you and it has to do with the charging port of the Fisker Ocean. It is a CCS1 connection which has the top section is the J1772 port and the bottom are the DC pins for the CCS1. When you're charging with the J1772 the bottom DC pins do not have a cover on it, which is different than most EVs that I know of. Most have a flap of some sort that covers both ports or at least the DC pins. So one thing that has me concerned is when you're charging outside and it may be raining or snowing and your J1772 plug is inserted, but the bottom pins are exposed to the elements that, I, I don't know how that got passed because uh, I, I think that's a concern to me because those pins are exposed and you may have issues of something getting inside there and causing problems. So my quick solution was to order these three items and let's check them out. I'll look at the first one here. This is a 3D printed cover that goes over the DC ports. This is designed for the CCS2 that is used in Europe. However, I think I can get it to work on the CCS1. The biggest difference between CCS1 and CCS2 are the AC pins on the top uses a different standard than the J1772 on the CCS1. So, this is one. It's a fairly rigid design. All right, let's look at the next one. This is a soft rubber cover. And as you can see, this is also for the CCS2 standard that is in Europe. This part covers the AC pins and this covers the DC pins. And as you can see, it's fairly similar to the 3D printed one. The exception is that this is not the same shape as the J1772, which is more rounded at the top. So we'll see how this fits. And lastly, I have this one. Let's take this out of the bag. And this is also a rubber cover that covers the AC pins and the DC pins. If you compare these two, they're very similar in that I would say the basic shape of them. However, in functionality, this bottom one has much deeper pocket. So in this one, isn't quite as deep, but it has, it looks like individual pins would connect there. All right, so we have these three designs and I'm going to put them on the Fisker Ocean's charge port and see which one works the best. We are now at the charge port, opening up the door. We have the charging port here. We have the J1772, which is the AC port on the top, and the bottom is the CCS1 DC pins right here. What I want to show you is when charging the car with the J1772, the DC pins underneath are exposed. So if you're charging during the rain, snow, or any weather that may be a problem, these pins are exposed, and that's something I'm worried about. Uh, most EVs tend to have covers over the CCS pins, so this is what I'm trying to fix in today's video. Let's start with the first item, which is the 3D printed cover. And I want to let you know all three of these items are designed for CCS2 in Europe, so they may not necessarily work. So I'm going to test it here on this car. 
according to the instructions, this goes with the little lip on top and you press that in. If I want to test it with the plug, there's a problem because this here, this little ridge hits the lip. So unfortunately, it's not going to connect. On CCS2 in Europe, the port here is a different shape and it's not round like this one is. Let's try this slightly different. Let me turn it upside down and see if it connects. Yes, it does. It does connect and this does provide protection. Let me remove it real quick. So yeah, so this is not too bad. Now to remove it, it's a little trickier because the lip is on the bottom now and you have to kind of pull on it from the bottom or from the top. I figure this is probably the best way. Just take two fingers, one on the top, one on the bottom to remove it. So let me show you one more time. Fully inserted, two fingers, you can remove it. Now for the next cover, this is the shallow rubber cover. And if you notice, it does have a slightly different shape for the top portion than this, but the DC pins look like they're very similar. So let's try that out. I am gonna push the bottom on first and see if that works. Nope, unfortunately, it is just not fitting in this opening. So even if I removed the top portion here and just use the bottom part, it doesn't seem that it is fitting over it correctly. Now oh, that's unfortunate. But that's what I'm here for. I'm to test things out and to see if they work or not. So this one is not good. So do not purchase any that look like this. Now for the third item, which is the deeper rubber cover. And let's try this one out. Yep, this one also has a problem because of this connection here between the two AC and DC pin areas. It's not fitting in. However, I think this could be modified for use. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna trim this area right here where it meets the pins and see if that makes a difference. All right, I made a little cut in the rubber to see if that would help it go over the center area, but I'm now having a problem with the bottom. The bottom is just too thick to fit over this edge. This edge and the surrounding area just doesn't have enough of a gap for this cover to fit into. So unfortunately, the third cover is also a no-go. So in conclusion, the only one that I could get to work is the 3D printed cap that can be inserted. It fits exactly into the DC pin opening area. And although it's designed for the CCS2 in Europe, it can be used with CCS1 as long as you install it with the lip facing down. And then that will provide protection for when you plug in the J1772 if you're outside and charging at a public charger or even if you charge outside at your home 
with an exterior charging setup. Well, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I have the link for this item in the video description if you're interested. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.